What's up, you guys? So tonight we are dining at a spot that we have been looking forward to trying for quite some time now. As a matter of fact, a lot of you recommended us trying this out and we are starving. That's right. Tonight we're dining at Prime Steakhouse at Bellagio. And I can smell the food of brewing, so it's time to eat. You ready, Rob? I'm ready. Let's eat! All right, so you ready, baby? I'm still ready. Right? I'm still ready. Exactly. We're hungry. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. Now, this I'm is ready very, to like, eat. A little, a little fancier than some of the ones we go yeah. to here. Yeah. So it's very nice. different. I like it. Kind of come down. You're sitting on the water side, so it feels really good. And yum, yum, give me some. Wow, look at this. It's oh, it's amazing. beautiful. Yeah, out here on the patio and uh, it's amazing. This is definitely one of the best seats in Vegas, right on the strip. I mean, look, amazing view of the lake. And I can't wait for the fountain show to kick off. Oh, I know. Right? I know. What's it like every, what, like every 15 minutes after every, 8 o'clock? Yeah, every 15. Now, now it's before, so it'll be every 30 minutes. Oh. Right? So. We're here early, right? Kind of the, like we like, like we like always we roll, do. Kind of the first seating first here. First seats in yeah. the house. High five up. Uh, yeah, high five up. Uh, uh, all right, this is gonna be good. <laughs> so, a toast to a fun night filled with great food. Another awesome experience with my baby here at Prime. Thanks, baby. Cheers. Can't and of wait. course, we got to have the old fashions to kick Cheers, things baby. off. Love Cheers. you so much. Love you. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. I mean, you need some of these guys in there. there I you think go. you're right. I'll take one and dip it on in. I'll take the other and I'll just make it like sin. Potatoes, potato, cherry, tomatoes, and cherry. Yeah. All right, so looking at this menu, there's a lot of things on this menu I think we're probably gonna like, 100%. But. With those prices, you got to be a little selective about what you what you want. So I'm thinking until we get them over here, maybe kind of explain things a little with these steak options, maybe what some of their favorites are. What do you think we kick things off with an appetizer like the bacon wrap shrimp? What do you think? Oh, we switched sides, <laughs> right? Amazing view of the fountains, but I agree with you, babe. Bacon wrap shrimp sounds awesome. Now it's 29 bucks. Uh, again, as you know, things aren't cheap here, of course. But uh, bacon wrap shrimp, avocado, and passion fruit mustard. I said we go for it. I Take like the off. sound of that. And then I uh, definitely feel like you're eyeing some steaks over there. Oh, yeah. I'd like the uh, waiter to come over, maybe talk through it a little bit. But they have some great selections. So I'd love to get their thoughts on it. And then we'll kind of come back with the recommendation. OK, babe, I think we narrowed it down, right? What yeah. do you think? I'm, I'm thinking they have this surf and turf off menu item, surf and turf. And uh, I'm thinking the ribeye and the lobster tail. All right, so of course we had to add a little bit of extra fire to the flame and go for some red wine. Now we're actually going for two Faust, which are from Napa Valley, and uh, I believe they're 25, and there's a Foley, which is 31, and that's per glass. So I think the cheapest one I've seen here, Dave, per glass is like 25 bucks. So yeah. we haven't done this in like forever to really eat out. So we're kind of making up for lost time for all the steakhouses. This, 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 is, this is our pre-Valentine's Day dinner. Yes, this is that's a good one. Day. No, this is the Valentine's Day dinner. Exactly. I like that. We may, be like, we may be like uh, hot tent camping. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. The tent. And you know what's funny? What do you think about the whole idea of us Going from the snow, it's now here at Prime. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. I mean, to go from Mount Charleston and the snow to down here, it's like culture shock a little bit. You're up like out of nowhere, you're in a tent, you know, got the wood stove going, camping, and now we're center strip in one of the most amazing restaurants here in Las Vegas. 
As a matter of fact, I guys, love it though. I love it. It's cool. And if you haven't seen that hot tent video, yes. you guys, that first one we did hot tent camping, definitely go check it out. You will not believe it's our first time. Thumbs <laughs> up. High five. <laughs> All right. So we've been on the search to find the best Caesar salad in Las Vegas. Now, they didn't make it in front of us, that's okay, but we did find out that the Caesar dressing here is made in house. Kind of the anchovies mixed in. I'm gonna add a couple of these little little bad boys in to my salad on the side. I do like them. I know I've come I've kind of grown accustomed to liking them. And let's uh let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and get a good blend of all of it in there. With the uh, Parmesan cheese, as well as. <laughs> What's the verdict, babe? We've tried a lot of Caesars in Vegas. That's not bad. I will say one thing. There's a lot more zest in it than I would have liked, meaning that lemon flavor. <clears throat> so, it's a a zest, of, so it's a zesty Caesar. Yeah, it's a zesty Caesar. We tend to like our Caesar dressings a little bit more on the garlicky side. Um, kind of rich and kind of creamy in, in flavor. So not not bad, but... Well, you need to, need to chase it down need after. To, yeah, need a little less zest. <laughs> what do you think? I'll let you know. No, I'm not. I don't really put those uh, anchovies on top. I like the anchovies in the dressing, but I don't lay them on top. I didn't really the catch way. that in the dressing yeah. to me. Not more lemony. I, I, I definitely taste the zest. I think it's pretty darn good, though. It is good. But you're right, it has a little bit of that zestiness in there. It's a nice, rich Caesar flavor, though. And uh, all in all, quite good. You know, we didn't ask for extra dressing on the side. I know, we almost always do that, right? But there was a funny story from Vicente, one of our servers who brought the Caesar out. He actually said the Caesar was actually first created in Tijuana, Mexico. What? By an Italian wow. restaurateur down in Tijuana. Mm. So is a Caesar, Caesar salad really Mexican? Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. But apparently, if that's true, that's amazing down in Tijuana. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like watching it from kind of like water level. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Oh, I love it. Okay, and question, do we get a little side of butter yeah, for that? Everything. Yeah, I'll have oh, some yeah. butter. Like lots of butter. Make some really. Are we all done with the bread? Or? I'm all done with the bread. Oh, that's a New York strip, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. That, is the that looks New amazing. York. Smells amazing. The shishitos. Ooh. There's oh, always shishitos. that one one that kind of gets you. So get a. Watch out for that hot shishito. Yeah, watch for that hot shishito. Yes. Ooh. This looks amazing. Great thick slice of that Japanese New York strip. Yeah, I didn't realize how kind of thick the Japanese strip would be, or the uh, oh. New York strip would be. It just cut right through like wow. butter. No, I'm going to try it right by itself. I know I love shishito peppers. Yes, I love how they so serve I... shishito with it. Oh. This is Japanese New York strip. Is that really good, mm. huh? Mm. That has a lot of nice flavor. Now, what, what sauce is this? So this is peppercorn and brandy and veal sauce. Ooh. Miru soy with ginger, shallot, garlic, Ooh. Asian food. This is the house favorite. Yummy. Look at those sauces, guys. The Bernese sauce. Oh, I love really it. nice sauces. Thank you. Yeah, there's three different types here. You got the, uh, the house favorite one right over here. Kind of all Asian inspired, peppercorn. But Sounds by good. itself is dynamite, Dave. Awesome. You're gonna try yours. I'm, I'm excited to see. What do you think about yours? This looks pretty amazing, babe. So I'm gonna give this uh, bone-in ribeye a, uh, a try. Yeah, it looks good. It, it's uh, it's so interesting. Good. This is not dry aged. It's just kind of regular bone-in ribeye. But oh, 
It does cut right through really nice. Let's see if I can kind of grab a little bit here. Give it a shot. Now, I actually asked for a medium. You kind of see that right there. Oh, so that's yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that's very good. A lot of flavor. I think they put, there's a kind of a salty sauce on there. I'm not sure what it is, but a lot of flavor in there. Very salty, but it's good. Very good. I'll dip it in the house sauce here. Can we triple dip? Of course you can. Triple dip? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Mm. Yeah, the Japanese strip is excellent. That's very good. You almost don't even need sauce with it. Steak and potatoes. The Bernese sauce is nice. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but creamy in texture. Really goes great with the meat, but those potatoes melt right in your mouth. It's like the perfect mashed. Yum, yum, give me some. More! <laughs> what do you think about the lobster, babe? Oh, uh, but that butter sauce, that warm butter sauce. Mm. It's really good. Tender. Really nice size, too. The butter has just a little bit of salt in there. It's warm. So that lobster just melts right in my mouth. Okay. What do I think? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. The butter has a little bit of salt in it, too, which is really nice. And super tender on the lobster tail. It's good. Woo! It's a hot one. A little fog rolling in here to the Bellagio Center Strip. Oh, I think this is going to be uh, Celine Dion. What do you think? It could be rolling in, rolling in. It looks really cool from uh, water looks level. amazing from down here. looks almost haunting. It does look haunting. It's like, stay away from that fog. Not sure what's in the fog. It's like it's like Hunger Games. It'll like <laughs> yes, kill you. exactly. Watch out for that. You're going to like melt away. Your skin's going to peel off. Oh, it's coming to their faces. All, All right, right. Oh, here it comes. I'm going to let fog. you get a full shot of this one. Get a full shot. You don't need me in that one. Oh, nope, it's not. They changed right. it. Oh, here we go. That's Pink Panther. Pink, oh, Pink Panther. Panther. So, babe. Yeah. So, what do you think about dessert tonight? I am stuffed. Normally, yeah. I would go for dessert, but I think we have maxed out everything tonight, including the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, oh, that's my goodness not cheap. gracious. Any guesses on the uh, bill tonight? I have no idea, but I'm sure we're going to find out. But let me ask you. Sure. So, what do you think of this place? Well, what did you think? Okay, well, a little sticker shock on that one. Not surprised. That was our most expensive meal in Vegas so far. Yeah, it definitely yes. was. We've had a lot of meals. We have a lot <laughs> yeah. of meals. I know we are probably... Um, it was enjoyable. I it was it enjoyable. Was a lot of fun. The service was great. Amazing service. And Absolutely. I, and I think you really do also pay for the fact that you're in one of the most iconic of spots. Of course. Of course. Uh, on Las Vegas Strip, and your eye level to the fountain show. Yeah. The staff is wonderful. The food was was delicious. I can't complain. It yeah, was great. Yeah. Everything. Food's great. Service amazing. Amazing location. So this is definitely that special meal. If you're looking for that. Happy Valentine's early day. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take a second if you have not done. So go ahead, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get up every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, World Fam. And I look forward to seeing y'all in, in Las Vegas. Vegas. And maybe at Prime. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs>